Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to be talking about Elizabeth Warren and her attempts to spike through the box, uh, the Washington Insider box that she's currently in, so that she can be a, uh, a spike candidate for the 2020 presidential elections. All right, so Elizabeth Warren is a uh, 2020 presidential candidate for the Democrat primary, all right? And, um, and so basically... Uh, she is one of about 16 major uh, competitors, right? Now, it is my opinion that she is an incredibly weak candidate for to win the uh, the to win the presidential primary and she will absolutely get wrecked in the general if she remains the way she was even a few months ago. So, and here's why, okay? She's a Washington insider. She is a pure dyed in the wool politician and she talks like a politician. That's why she will lose the primary and the election. It is my opinion that America is done with politicians being the president, right? Uh, Americans are fine with, po with politicians serving as senators, politicians serving as congresspeople, politicians serving as governors. No problem, right? But at, with the president, that is now, uh, entertainment is, is a required component of that job. And Elizabeth Warren, up until two months ago, has not been entertaining, right? She's just, it's not part of her, you know, character. Now, she's starting to get entertaining, right? She's starting to do YouTube channels and drinking beers and talking, like, to the camera, all that, right? She's realizing that Trump has absolutely changed the game, right? Uh, I think Reagan started it. You know, a lot of other presidents saw it, too. But right now, you, you've got to bring entertainment if you are going to be an actual candidate. And pure dyed in the wool, Washington insiders, you could take them off of the list of winner for presidential elections. They do not matter. And the reason why is those cameras are on them 24-7, right? 365. And if you don't have something shocking, if you don't have something entertaining, if you don't have something simple, if you don't have something exciting to say, you are not going to make it, right? And Washington insiders don't have any of those things, right? They talk in in political patois. They and and they're just they're terrible candidates, right? Now Elizabeth Warren is an incredibly capable uh, politician. She's incredibly intelligent. Uh, she's savvy. She knows uh, political tactics and strategies before Trump's uh, era, right? But she now understands the shape of the world. And so right now, Elizabeth Warren is sitting in that Washington insider box, right? And I think there's 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 three types of candidates. There's insiders, you can write them all off. They're losers. They are not gonna lose the election. They're not gonna win the primary. And they are not, they, they certainly are not gonna win the general election because the, because they will bore the media, and you cannot bore the media. If you bore the media, they will punish you for it, and that punishment will be the loss of the election, right? Okay, so that, that to me, that's a that's lock, right? That that's set in stone, right? So Elizabeth Warren needs to do her thing, and 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 she's a Washington insider, and she needs to get out of that box, right? So insiders, you have insiders, you have spikes, and you have outsiders. Okay, now spikes are people who are in the box who realize they're in the box and do something interesting to set themselves apart to make themselves distinct, right? They can't be outsiders because they are insiders, but they can be a spike. They can punch through the box and then they can be seen by the media and once they're seen by the media, they can be seen by voters, right? And it's it's a really important distinction. And so right now, I think Elizabeth Warren is trying to be a spike, right? So how is she getting there? All right, so so all this is happening, right? And um, oh, and by the way, outsiders. Perfect example of an outsider is Andrew Yang. Never was a politician. He has not been a politician. He's an uh, he's an American entrepreneur. Uh, tech. He's an American tech entrepreneur. He doesn't talk like a um, uh, a politician. He doesn't act like a politician. Uh, he's just a really strong outsider, right? And he, and I think he could definitely take the. I think he's one of the top candidates right now. Okay, back to Elizabeth Warren, who is an insider trying to be a spike, right? All right, so what is she doing to be a spike? Well, she has two things that I think are, are spike-worthy, right? They're spike actions, right? So first is she has this um, universal daycare idea. 
brilliant idea in the way it's presented. Seven per, so what it is is she, she takes daycare to universal daycare. And basically every single person in the country who has a child who needs daycare, they can get, they can get daycare at 7% of their salary top, right? That's it. So it doesn't make you matter if you make 100 grand a year, 7% of your salary, done. If you make $30,000 $30, a year, 7% of your salary, done. And your kid's in one of these universal daycares, right? It's simple, and everyone who has a child who go to daycare cares about it. It's, 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 it's a good, and, and, it, and it's life-changing, right? For, for some people, we're paying like a third to maybe even half their salary for good daycare, this could be a big deal, right? It, it, so it's simple to understand and it's life changing, right? It's a spike move, right? And oh, and he, oh, here's another one. It's new. It hasn't been talked about before, right? She, uh, Elizabeth Warren also has an ultra millionaire tax plan. Who cares? It's old. Taxing the rich is old. Nobody wants to hear about old stuff or stuff that other Democrats already talked about four years ago. Got to bring that new. You got to be fresh. It's got to be shocking. It's got to be entertaining, right? Now, here's something that is shocking and entertaining that Elizabeth Warren is using as her next spike action. Elizabeth Warren has said, if I get in, I got plans to break up the big tech giants, right? She specifically talked about Apple and that she would be willing, uh, that she would have some plans to crack, 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 break up Apple, right? Now, from a running the country idea, from the running the country and the health of the country and the nation and, uh, and, and you know, all those kind of things, I think this is an abominable idea. It is a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. You're telling companies, you know, uh, you know, hey, if you, if you do what you do well, I will crack you apart like a, a, like a Kit Kat, right? That's, that's highly upsetting to, to entrepreneur, to American entrepreneurs, right? So, so then, you know, what do you, how do you deal with this, right? So that, that's really, that's very upsetting, right? It's, it's, a, it's a bad thing, right? From a tactics and strategy perspective, it's brilliant, right? So, so one, Elizabeth Warren is pulling out from the pack, right? Um, Amy Klobuchar, I don't know what she stands for, right? I, I'll do my research, I'll figure it out, right? But I know what Elizabeth Warren stands for because she is getting coverage. And she is getting coverage because she's saying things that other people aren't saying. Things that are shocking and entertaining, right? So pure, purely from a tactics and strategy perspective, these two, uh, these two ideas, 7% universal daycare. Um, I'm going to break up uh, the, big, the big tech, uh, the big tech companies. Brilliant moves, man. It's bold. It's bold, right? Um, so I, I think it's really interesting, and I, and I think it's the right move, right? If, if Elizabeth Warren wants to win, she needs to not be, uh, she needs to not be an echo candidate, right? She needs to distinct, make herself distinct from uh, Hillary Clinton because Hillary just lost. She needs to show people how she's different. And these two things are different. Hillary didn't talk about these two things, right? And so I, I think it's really, really interesting. Um, from, a, from a practical perspective, if Elizabeth Warren gets in, Fang has to worry. Um, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, that's all, that, that's, uh, Fang is a shortened acronym for very, very uh, powerful, very successful American tech companies that are, um, that, that their stock's through the roof. Um, and I think they're all the type of targets that Elizabeth Warren will, like I said, she'll just break them up like a Kit Kat if she gets in. That is alarming. But from a perspective of winning the election, winning the primary, bold, bold move, bold move, strong, stra st strong tactics, strong strategy, right? Specifically, this is a tactic, right? This, these are specifically tactics. Uh, we haven't seen her overall strategy. Very, very interesting. I, I, I'm impressed with Elizabeth Warren's recognition that she needs to spike through that box and making moves to actually do it. Very, very bold, smart move. Uh, that's my thought. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Um, please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful day.